In this video, I'm going to give you ideas about how you can come up with ideas for your um, YouTube channel, for your videos. Because a lot of times you have your idea and maybe you do your first seven or eight videos and they're like, I'm running out of ideas, what do I do? I'm going to give you part of my course that I created on how to start a YouTube channel. You're going to watch that one part of it where it tells you exactly where you can go to get ideas. And then I'm going to share a secret with you of what I do to come up with my ideas on top of that. Okay, so enjoy this part of the course and then I'll give you my secret. Welcome back. Hopefully you've done all the steps in the first two videos, step one and step two. Remember, you're trying to find out if what you want to talk about, what you want to create your channel about is something that other people are searching for. YouTube is a search engine and we have to figure out what kind of questions are people asking? What are they looking for? What information do they want about your topic? That is what we're trying to do before you put all the work into creating a channel and finding out it's not viable. So one of the first things you were asked to do, sitting here making lists, and I understand that it's a lot of research, but it will pay off. One of the first things you were asked to do is just to come up with some ideas, and I'm sure you've already done that. For today's session, let's just narrow it down to one. I told you to narrow it down to two or three, and that's fine. But where we're going forward now, I want you just to take one idea that you have and go forward. If you go through all these steps and find out it's just not something you think is going to be worth all the work, it's not something that's going to, you know, that you can come up with enough information for, then you can go on to another idea. And that's why I had you write more than one, because it has to be something that people are searching for. I also asked you to write down 10 competitors channels. Get in there, get on YouTube and find 10 other channels that are very similar to what you're doing. For today's session, I'm going to keep talking about dirt bike riding. And when I went through YouTube, there's tons of channels out there about dirt bike riding. So I could have chosen many of them. But what I want you to do next, um, as you write those down, I want you to say what you liked about the channel. Maybe one of the dirt bike riding channels I looked at um, focused mostly on children, or maybe it focused mostly on competitions, or most, maybe mostly trail riding, things like that. So I want to, I want to put that over here and the other columns so I can remember what it was I liked about it. Or maybe I just loved their videos, that they, they made really good videos, and their editing techniques were awesome. So write something down that's going to help you remember. The more you write down, the less you have to remember later. Now, this next step, what I want you to do before we find out what kind of content we're going to make, is make pillars, that's what I call them, um, to go with your topic. So my topic is dirt bike riding. And four of the things that I wanna talk about with dirt bike riding are dirt bike riding for beginners, dirt bike riding safety, dirt bike riding trails, and dirt bike riding competition. Now again, I don't ride dirt bikes and I went through and I was looking at the different channels and those are four different um, pillars I came up with. What I mean by that, the pillars, are what are four different topics I can talk about as I talk about dirt bikes? Because one of the mistakes a lot of people make when they create a channel is they wanna talk about something and then they go off on too many different tangents and before you know it, your channel is about lots of different things and you'll lose subscribers. If, if somebody came to my channel wanting to know dirt bike riding for beginners and I only made one video and never talked about it again, they might leave. But if I talk about dirt bike riding for beginners mixed in with those other three topics, then they're more likely to stick around. Even though they may not be competing, but they may stick around to look at the trails that I'm riding and things like that. So. One of the mistakes, again, that people make on their channel is they get too broad and they lose their audience. So this is a chance for you to focus in on four things. Again, you can always change it. What if you came up with a topic? Um, what if I started talking about um, dirt bike riding safety and it wasn't really something I wanted to talk about, but I was just trying to put something there. And all of a sudden I realized that's where most of my subscribers are coming in. Um, later, when you're a channel, you can start doing some uh, looking at algorithms and, and looking at, at things like that, like um, how many subscribers is this one video getting and things like that. Well, I might want to keep talking about it because that seems to be why people are subscribing. So again, 
maybe nobody is coming in because of that topic and I can change it. So don't feel like you're locked in to what you're doing. Now, on page pages three through seven, you're going to write content ideas. And I'm going to show you a little bit about that in just a moment, where you're, how you're going to come up with these ideas. But before we do that, I want to pop up. I want you to go back into www.youtube.com and I want you to type in your four pillars. Now I've already done this and I looked for it, but I want you to start playing around. Like what are some good topics? Again, are people searching for it? And good old TubeBuddy, my Chrome extension is going to tell me is that keyword. Now I've been calling these titles and topics. They're actually keywords. YouTube and Google call them keywords and they pick them up in their search engine and find out are people looking for it and they lead them to your video. So TubeBuddy picked this up, Dirt Bike Riding for Beginners, and said it was excellent. Remember I said there was that overall keyword score. It's an excellent choice. You want it to be fair or better. You just don't want it to be poor. So this is something that people definitely, and again, you can go through and see like we did before and look at the videos and things like that. But basically I want to know, is that a good keyword? And it is. So I'm going to definitely use that as one of my four pillars. Another one that I looked up was dirt bike riding safety. This one is still excellent. Um, when I look though at a lot of the videos, while it's an excellent keyword, according to TubeBuddy, the amount of views isn't quite as high. Um, but if you go up here, five tips for dirt bike beginners, um, they've got over 300,000 views. So a lot of it too might be on how people um, give the title. And, and how they're searching for it. Right here, dirt bike safety doesn't sound as enticing as five tips for dirt bike beginners. So those are things you're gonna be looking at later when you come up with your uh, titles for your content. Another pillar that I'm gonna use is dirt bike riding trails. Definitely, I know myself personally, I enjoy watching them ride with the camera on their chest and they're going on different trails. If I were a dirt bike rider, that is definitely something I would be doing and I would be taking trips to different parks and getting all kinds of cool video because I am sure that is something that people would love to look at. Now, the interesting thing, this keyword is good. It didn't come out as excellent, but it is, is a good keyword according to the TubeBuddy Chrome extension. And I have one more. I was gonna go ahead with dirt bike riding competition and that one is excellent as well according to TubeBuddy. So that's what you need to do. You might want to turn the video off before we go forward and come up with your four pillars. So you've got your workbook pages. Go ahead and write that down and again these can be changed later but this is what we're looking for. We're looking for that excellent or fair good excellent very good or fair rating from TubeBuddy. What I want you to do now is go back to your workbook. We're gonna go in and fill in those pages three through seven and look at our four pillars. And I'm gonna, you're probably thinking, how am I gonna fill this in? How am I gonna come up with a hundred ideas? This is probably the most important step in deciding whether or not you're gonna start your channel with the topic that you've chosen or with that passion that you wanna share with other people. You have to make sure you have content. If you can come up with a hundred pieces of content ideas today or within the next couple of days, then you can have enough content for your channel at least for two years if you do one video a week. If you do two, then you have enough for a year. And I promise you, once you dig in, it'll start coming to you naturally. But you have to have enough to determine if it's even worth it because I don't want you to waste your time setting up a channel and then feeling defeated. All right, so let's go ahead, pull those pages. Now, how do I come up with these ideas? You're asking, right? How am I gonna fill this in? I have a site that I want you to go to. It's called um, Answer the Public. So I want you to go in and I want you to go to www answerthepublic.com. This is a service that you can use and find two, you can, look up two different topics for free. If you want to do more than that, then you have to pay for this software tool. You don't need to pay for it unless you really want to, that's fine. But I have found that the free service is enough for me because this is just something that gets your brain going and you'll start thinking of more things on your own. So I'm going to type in dirt bike riding. I'm going to type that in here and then I'm going to hit the search. That is my keyword for my channel, but I want to see what comes up. 
what kind of other things that might help me with other pillars as well once you hit search it's going to take a while so let it run and see what comes up after you hit the search and you've let it run for a little bit you just start scrolling down and it's going to come up with some different questions you can see it's asking those questions who what where when and why so it's where is a good place to go dirt bike riding what is dirt bike riding um, why should i dirt bike ride how how to do certain things so it, it brings up those questions this one honestly isn't bringing up a ton i've looked up other things and there's so many on there that it gets overwhelming um this one um if you keep going down it uses preparation uh, pre 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 prepositions oh my goodness and i'm a teacher i'm a math teacher all right so it brings up different prepositions that you can use to, to ask questions as well and keep going down it'll put it in alphabetical order it'll do comparisons and things like that but it helps you get your brain going i don't want you to take all of this and write it down i want you to do an excel there's an, an export button that you can hit where you export it all to an excel sheet because remember you only get two searches for free per day and you cannot um do any more than that you can even try another device and it's going to recognize you i've tried so get all of this export it put it on your excel sheet and then do another search with one of your pillars as well so we're going to go ahead and search one of the pillars and i'm going to do dirt bike riding safety i picked that one on purpose because i wasn't really sure how much information i would get from that and I went ahead and let it um, load and then I started scrolling down and I was right. There's really not a lot. Um, a lot of it is um, what are some safety tips and things like that. So what I would do to change my pillar, I would integrate this in with dirt bike riding for beginners because beginners need to know their safety tips. And then as I do keep searching and coming up with ideas, then I might come up with my fourth pillar. It, the pillars are there to help you stay focused on your topic because like i told you earlier you don't want to have a channel where you're talking about too many different things and you're getting too broad you want to stay within those four pillars and within your main topic or main keyword so there you go you have enough work to do if you go through all of these steps and then you find out that this wasn't a good choice there's just not enough and you don't feel comfortable getting started then stop Go back to the beginning and think about a different passion that you have or something else that you're really knowledgeable about that you want to share and go back to the beginning steps. It doesn't take that much time. And I promise you, if you take the time to do the research now, you're not going to waste your time creating a channel or with a topic that nobody's going to search. That would be worse than taking the time to go back and starting over. I really really want you to be successful and i cannot emphasize enough how important this step is you can build a channel that will be that can produce an income for you if you do these steps and you make sure you have something there there is more to the channel that's going to help you produce an income but this is the first step and if you're passionate and you're enjoying talking about what your topic is then this is all going to be fun for you and not it's not going to feel like work that's what a job should feel like it should feel like something that you love to do you love to talk about and you love to share all right get busy get to work and get that channel up once your channel is up and running please come back to my channel at vanessa de Berlay and let me know in one of my um one of the comments on one of my videos i answer all the comments let me know that you started a channel and I inspired you through this little mini course and I will come over and check your channel out and I would be happy to feature it on my channel to let people see that it does work and that's what I want people to see. Good luck to you. Get to work. Now last week I gave you some ideas on ideas for a niche um, so you can get started with your YouTube channel. I'm hoping that you did that. If you're here and you still don't know where to begin, please watch the video above where it gives you ideas. It's very comprehensive on different ideas for niche for your YouTube channel or just for your business. It doesn't have to be the channel. The channel can be part of the business. Some people use the channel as their 
main outlet for their business and other people use it as an addition to their business so however it is it's okay there's no perfect way to get started um, and there's no perfect place to film as you can see you film whatever is part of your life and whatever works for you right and and give that information it's in your niche but today um so i'm going to share the secret some of you are very very busy and you're like i, I just don't have time um to, to to come up with these ideas what i want you to do you did watch the video i just showed it to you but let's say that that just gave you some basic ideas because it does it won't give you I, I've used that to get my brain started and it talks about the pillars, which I think is a great idea. Some of you may not need that. You may have so much information, but you don't know how to maybe niche it down. Maybe it's too broad, whatever it is. But this is when I come up with my best ideas. There's some, when I'm doing other things. Um, you know how in life, especially those of you who have kids, do you find yourself a lot of times just waiting for them at the ball game or at gymnastics practice or something like that? That's when you can carry a little notebook around with you You've got your main pillars that you want to talk about. Now start filling those in with ideas. You don't have to have them perfected. You don't have to search and see if people are looking for it. At this point, just write them down. And some of your best ideas are going to come to you when you're doing something else. I actually even have a, a notebook with me in the car. I have another channel about my Amish neighbors. So obviously when I'm driving around, it's like, oh, wait, that's something I can show them. or something I can talk about. And I hurry up and write it down. I also in my car, because I do a lot of my videotaping with that channel while I'm driving, because that's when I see the horse and buggies and things like that. And I just keep one of those little um, video stands um, that people use to you know for their GPS or whatever but I put mine right in front of me on the dashboard and I can just videotape while I'm driving and then just edit it so do what you need to do to help it work for you there is no set perfect way I know there's all these courses out there very comprehensive and they get into keywords and all this other stuff and I just I want to encourage people just to find those things that you'd like to talk about and just start your video because it'll all start coming together I promise. So that's my secret. I just keep a notebook with me and I just tend to be in my head. I could be mowing the lawn. I could be cleaning shit out of the barn and, and you know, wheelbarrow. And I, I just keep thinking of things. And again, don't turn your brain off. Just, just kind of integrate every part of your life together, if that makes sense, and think about it and write it down. And then later when you have some quiet time, you can really dig in and get your ideas from there. So I hope that was helpful. Tell me in the comments below what you think. Uh, maybe you have another little secret of what you do to get ideas. Uh, some of you may be people watchers. You see my dogs back there. I'm still babysitting them um, so they don't jump out. <laughs> I have to stay, keep an eye. They'll fly over that four foot fence. So I have to keep saying, get back over here. Um, Anyway, that's my life. Uh, so just put that in the comments. Um, some other ideas that you might have to help people think of ideas. Um, I showed you the video as well. And then don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next video. You have a blessed day.